By the way, folks, you know I always keep telling you the world is going mad, not just in the real world situation, but in the pop culture scene of things. Well, look at that. My boy, Sam Fisher, check those games out. I know it looks a bit funny on the camera, but these games, I love this character. I love the world building of Splinter Cell. I love Sam Fisher, iconically voiced by Michael Ironside himself. But the latest piece of news that's been trending for the last couple of days hasn't sat well with fans. I can kind of understand why. So without further ado, folks, we're just going to go on over to this news article here from Rock Paper Shotgun and Ubisoft's Splinter Cell Remake will be a rewriting and updating the story for, you know it, today's modern audience. That's one alarm too many. Jason King on Kung Fu Hot Dog. I mean, in 2002, when the first Splinter Cell game came out, was that not for a modern audience back then? So um, I'm a little bit perplexed why they would use that narrative to uh, upsell this game at the moment. So yes, Sam Fisher for Generation Z. Now, I have talked about Generation Z before some previous videos. In fact, I've just shot a video last night where I referred to dead-brained Generation Z again. So it's kind of funny that I'm probably the X generation, or even before that, perhaps. So I'm kind of, I've kind of got a grip on what, you know, what made entertainment great back then, including video games. I didn't get into video games. I mean, I played video games on and off in the late 80s, early 90s. I had a Sega Dreamcast, which was a great, great console. Glad that thing is still alive, actually. And then I kind of really got my chops into to gaming from about 2007 onward with the Uncharted games. I'll be talking about those in a minute as well, but the remake of classic Stealth em Up Splinter Cell will be rewritten up and updated for a modern day audience. According to a job posting for the project, there was a meltdown. I think you can see it on Reddit. Now, I'm not a big fan of Reddit, but uh, like one of the mods or the administrator, they just went into this full blown rhetorical vitriolic blast that people have said if you don't like the remake because it's going to have x y and z then you shouldn't be commenting on what's going on it was a really hilarious breakdown but ubisoft toronto are looking for a script writer for their new splinter cell game so they can't be bothered to do like a brand new chapter after Blacklist. It's got to be a remake of the first game, uh, which they say uses the original as a foundation and aims to um, find a new audience of Splinter Cell fans. I hate to break it to you, Ubisoft, but I'm not certain that the kids dig Tom Clancy's military espionage hijinks. Well, take a look at Sam Fisher. Uh, what do you see before your very eyes? What do you think Hollywood is just trying to eradicate at the moment? The masculine Caucasian man, because we can't have that anymore. Apparently, this type, uh, this archetype of a man uh, is the cause of why we have incels. I really, really detest that word because I, I love to use the word woke, which this game might be going in, but incels is just a whole other thing, man. And like, they're targeting a specific demographic of men when a recent study has shown, and I've seen this uh, at a, you know, a university lecture, but this guy, these two guys on YouTube, um, an Irish guy, they were talking about the fact that um, the term incel actually applies to all races of men, not just the Caucasian dudes. It seems to be very targeted at them. And I could have even told you, you don't, you don't need a master's degree to know that. I could have sat here and told you, men I've known before me, I mean, they're some of the worst incels I've ever seen. And it's just... It's just such a derogative term. It's just, I mean, it's, it's bad. It's like calling a lady a slut. I mean, is that equivalent of uh, being insulting to men? So yeah, I mean, the good point that's raised here by Rock Paper Shotgun, will kids today know who Sam Fisher is? 
Did you not see how the reboot of that very woke Saints Row went down? I mean, people tried to give that game a chance and they came away thinking, nah, I'm tapped out of this. I want to go back and play the old Saints Row games again. Uh, Ubisoft revealed their intention to remake Splinter Cell in December 2021 and they've been pretty cagey about it since. We know it's uh, built from their proprietary Snowdrop engine and that it's based on the original game from 2002. To be fair, a lot's changed in the past 20 years, so updating the script and characters makes a lot of sense, which is a little bit strange because you've got Lambert, who's one of the coolest black dudes I've seen in a video game. My God, Fisher, that was pure madness. He's one of Sam Fisher's handlers. He might not always agree with Sam's decisions, but he's there with him every step of the way, and I like him. He's kind of like, um, think of D uh, Deputy Dwayne T. Robinson from Die, Die Hard giving orders to John McClane or telling him to back down, and McClane's just telling him where to stick it. It's kind of like that relationship. And then, of course, you've got Grimm. I'm going to talk about Anna Grimm in a minute, but... The way now people have been getting worked up about this and it's Ubisoft, it's uh, Yves Guillermo, the guy who runs Ubisoft. This man has ignored fans pleas to bring back a new Splinter Cell game. It's like it's been teased at, it's never happened and the amount of shit Ubisoft is still dealing with and the fact Guillermo is ignoring all the allegations of assault and abuse at members of his staff, uh, not just where they are based but all over the world so um it's funny how they haven't actually done anything to redress that situation and again you know we've seen how the saints row game turned out um so i'm going to hold fire at the moment until i see a trailer but at the beginning of this video i mentioned nathan drake from uncharted don't be surprised if they decide to give him a bit of a makeover in years to come. And I beg you, Naughty Dog, please do that. Please incur the wrath of not just me, but other folks as well. And I tell you what, it'll be very interesting to see what, how they're going to redress Sam Fisher for the very sensitive 2020s going forward. And I want to show you a clip from Splinter Cell Conviction, one of my absolute all-time favorite games from this franchise. I just think it's, it just knocks it out of the park it really does and i want to set this scene up for you very quickly so you don't think this is a glorification of uh, domestic violence at females there's actually a very good setup about this so without further ado i'll play this three minute clip and you can see what you think for yourself it's really really awesome and attack me i'm dead so make it look good sam hit me do what you have to do grim let me remind you i'm out of the game you're not out. All it took was one hint about her. Only one hint about Sarah and you dove right back in. What do you know about her? I know she's alive. How's that for starters? lying. She's dead. Lambert told me she was dead, and I take his word over yours. She's alive, Sam, and I know where she is. I've known all along. You're lying. Why should I believe you? Because my people have her. If you help me, you get to see her again. If you don't, it's out of my hands. Don't lie to me about this, or I'll kill you. You understand me? I will kill you! Sam, I've been lying to you about this for years. Okay. I... Okay, that'll do. Good work. Shut up. I always thought that Sam and Anna Grimm should have got it together. <laughs> um, again, 
She's a redhead, so that's all I'm saying. And you know, that's what I like about this scene a lot. When I first played this game and this came up, I was actually quite shocked. Uh, but obviously when you get the context of it, you know, she's basically, they're staging the fact that um, Fisher smacked Anna Grimm to get out because now he wasn't going to hit her before at the beginning of the scene but because she mentions well your dead daughter Sarah is actually alive and we've been keeping her in hiding that's just a way to get Sam to get uh, to be enraged and I love that it's a nuance it's a subtlety it's really really cool and it was great to see it in a video game like the Splinter Cell series so I am wondering now that we probably won't go back to old school espionage uh, antics like this. Uh, and again, if you're a fan of the spy genre, they do this stuff all of the time. Staging getaways, staging X, Y, and Z scenarios. It, oh, it's because it's the spy game, right? That's what they do. That's what spies and mercs do for their dirty living. They get a lot of money out of it, but you've got a price to pay, unfortunately. So I really like the direction of the scene, how it's all played out. Um, the fact that Sam is still pissed at Anna at this stage, but you know what? He's going to track down, he's going to meet Sarah at the end of the game, or at least speak to her. It's a really, really cool moment because in the previous game, you know, we hear that she dies, but I think it's from a drunk driver or something like that. And, uh, oh my God. So, you know what? <laughs> That's why I say, folks, get your physical media. Get physical media games. You can buy these things pretty cheap now, so get them... Because again, it's this slow erasure of history that Hollywood and entertainment is doing right now. They don't want you to remember things that happened 30 or 40 years ago. I know Splinter Cell is not that old, but you get my drift. I'm talking about the general sphere of pop culture as a whole. So folks, if you enjoyed this video today on the it could be a woke reboot of Splinter Cell. I cannot wait to see what the character design for Sam Fisher is going to look like. Will it meet my approval? Will it meet my disapproval? But when it happens, I will let you know. So on that one, folks, one more time. If you enjoyed this video today, be sure to give it a like. Make sure to hit the comment section and make sure you share the hell out of this video. And if I were you and if you were me, I will see you on the next video.